Hello everyone, and welcome back to Key Talks. I wanted to start off by thanking everyone for watching my last video and providing me with a lot of feedback. A lot of you guys have reached out to me and have asked for a tutorial video on exactly how to buy cryptocurrencies. So what I've done for you is in the description area below, I've listed three links. The first one is for Canadians who can use the Newton app, which has the lowest fees uh, to transfer your Canadian dollars and then be able to purchase Bitcoin or Ethereum. And then the second would be Binance. So if you live anywhere else in the world, you would be using Binance. And of course, third, the trust wallet, which is what you're going to be using to buy these altcoins. Now let's get right into it. Step one, go to the description area below of this YouTube video, click on Newton Exchange for Canadians and create an account. You will need your driver's license and photo ID uh, so they can verify you. Now I already have an account, so I'm just going to be logging into my account right now. Now that you have your account open and verified, uh, click on the green arrows below, click add funds, and I'm just going to put a hundred dollars here. We're going to submit the request, send fund request, and then you will get an email and then you'll have to open up your email and approve the request. Great. Now you have hundred dollars inside your Newton app. Great. Now we're going to buy cryptocurrency. So just click the green arrow at the bottom. Just put, I'm going to put hundred dollars in, uh, to Bitcoin and review trade buy BTC. And congratulations. You just bought Bitcoin. Just a heads up to my American nationals. You will need a VPN if you're going to be using the Binance app. Okay. We're going to go to step three, go to the description area below of my video and I click on Binance exchange open it up and same thing. We're going to create a Binance account. You're still going to have to do a verification for this as well. I already have a Binance account, so I'm just going to open it up. Now you might be viewing the Binance pro version. If that's so on the top left hand corner, you see the little man click on that, click on Binance Lite or Binance pro, and then you will see this page. So if you do see this again, top left hand corner, little man, if you click on that, you can switch over to the Binance Lite. Now go ahead and click on the wallet icon on the bottom right hand corner. Deposit, fiat, crypto, and type in BTC. Now we're going to copy the wallet address and make sure that we're using the BTC network. At this point, you want to make sure that you're using the Bitcoin network. You want to use the correct network. When you're transferring Bitcoin from Bitcoin wallet address to another Bitcoin wallet address, you're using the Bitcoin network. But if you're transferring Ethereum, most likely you are using the Ethereum network. So you'll be clicking on the ERC20 tab. Now, later on in this video, you'll see that I'll be transferring BNB coin from Binance uh, app all the way to Trust. Uh, trust wallet and when I'm doing this I'm going to be selecting the BSC tab which stands for Binance Smart Chain because I'm using the Binance Smart Chain network to transfer my BNB coin from Binance app to trust wallet so we'll just follow along and I'll explain everything at the end of this video once the address is copied we're going to go ahead and open up the Newton app we're going to click on the green arrows at the bottom Click on withdraw crypto to wallet and paste address and then enter in the desired amount. I'm just going to click on max and review withdrawal. And congrats, you just transferred your crypto to the Binance wallet using the Bitcoin network. Now we're going to open up a Binance Lite. We're going to go to the wallet. We're going to check to see that our money is there. Yes, it is. Click on the two arrows at the bottom, click on convert, and we're going to type in BNB. Click confirm. I'm going to just hit max or the desired amount and confirm, convert the crypto over and congrats. You just traded your Bitcoin for Binance coin. We're going to open up the Binance wallet. We're going to click on the wallet icon on the bottom right. We're going to hit withdraw. 
we're gonna type crypto, hit BNB, and now we need to paste the receive address here. So open up the Trust Wallet. You can find the link to download Trust Wallet in the description area below. Once the Trust Wallet is open, click on Smart Chain. Now click on Receive. Now copy the wallet address here. Now go back to the Binance Wallet and paste the address in. Binance should automatically select the BSC network for you. If not, make sure you select the BSC network or you will lose your money. Enter the desired amount and confirm the transfer. There you go. Congrats. You just transferred your BNB coin from Binance to Trust Wallet. Now open up the Trust Wallet. Click on BNB. You can see the, that the funds have been received. The second icon on the bottom is DApps. You're going to click on DApps. You're going to type in the search bar Pancake Swap. You can hit enter and click on the first link that pops up in Google. Now at the top right hand corner of the screen, you're going to see a little icon that looks like the Ethereum symbol. You're going to click on that and you're going to select Smart Chain Network. Now you're going to click connect and connect your trust wallet to Pancake Swap. Once you do that, on the left hand side, you're going to click the little icon to, and click on trade, click on exchange. And then you can choose BNB. Two, and in the search bar there, you can search either Safe Moon or Bunny Token. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna uh, choose Bunny Token. And you just have to click on the filter icon at the top and make sure it's sitting at 1%. For Safe Moon, it has to be 12% slippage. There you go. Just make sure it's the correct amount and then click on swap. I'm going to do a little bit less. And then confirm swap. You can view on BSC scan if you want, if you're wondering how your transaction is doing and you can see that it's pending. Okay. If now if you go back to the actual wallet, you'll see that you have received bunny token in your wallet. Okay, so let's talk about what we just did. The first thing that we did is if you're Canadian, you downloaded the Newton app. Uh, why did you do this? You did this so that you can convert your Canadian dollars into cryptocurrency. That's it, it's plain and simple. The second thing that we did is we downloaded Binance app. Why do we download Binance? Binance is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. So you have an opportunity to buy the most popular cryptocurrencies out there. They have hundreds of cryptocurrencies to choose from. It's very easy. And the most important thing is there's multiple networks on the Binance app. So you can use Tron, you can use the Ethereum network, the Bitcoin network, you can use Binance Smart Chain network. However, there are some coins that are not yet on Binance exchange. So how do you buy that? And that's why you need something like Trust Wallet. So, which is why I left that also in the description area below and I walked you through that. So by moving Binance coin, which is now the native coin of Binance Smart Chain onto Trust Wallet, you can now buy uh, other alternative coins that are not yet on Binance coins. So where, all, or where are these alternative coins? So there's a difference between uh, a SEX, C-E-X, and a DEX, D-E-X. A SEX is a centralized exchange and the DEX is a decentralized exchange. Newton and Binance are both centralized exchanges. That's why when you downloaded the app, you had to go through a verification process, right? You took a picture of yourself, you took a picture of your driver's license, just like how if you were to go to the bank, you have to show your ID to be able to open up a checking account. Same thing, they're centralized exchanges, they're run by a governing body. A decentralized exchange, uh, you don't really know who it's run by or it's run by a community of members. Sometimes they tell you who it's run by, but it's uh, it's like unbanking yourself. There is there's no need for verification. You don't need to show your ID. You don't need to sign up for anything. You just, you just log in. You just connect your wallet and that's it. And that's what we're about to do. So when you get your money or your cryptocurrencies from Binance, onto Trust Wallet, now you have the opportunity to go onto these DEXs, these decentralized exchanges. So what I'm gonna show you is how you can, or what I showed you is how you can go using the Trust Wallet to a website like PancakeSwap 
which is a decentralized exchange. And on PancakeSwap, you were able to buy Bunny Token and a bunch of other tokens. Now there's a lots of decentralized exchanges out there. The reason that I use PancakeSwap and Pancake Bunny is because I, I believe that Binance are backing them. Most DEXs are uh, very risky and uh, I don't recommend using all of them. Uh, again, I'm not a financial advisor, so you do want to do your own due diligence and your research. But using centralized exchanges are definitely a lot more safer than using decentralized exchanges. However, using decentralized exchanges, you have opportunity to earn more yield and interest. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So right now, what I'm going to show you and what I'm going to walk you through is after you convert your money on a DEX, how you can earn interest using some of the coins that you have. So with Pancake Bunny, what you can do is you can put that into a pool. Think of, it, think of it like a savings account where you can earn a lot of interest. But the interest is ridiculous. I'm not talking like 0.1% interest. I'm talking about like 100%, 200% interest APY. So just uh, follow me through and then I'll show you how to do it. Now you want to go back to the apps and search up Pancake Bunny. Click on the first link. Now you can scroll down and you'll see, you have to click on BSC pool and you'll see all of the pools and how much interest you can earn in each pool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the bunny pool to earn wrapped BNB coin. In this pool, I'll be earning 194% APY on wrapped BNB. Now connect to smart chain and then same thing again, connect to your wallet. This one's already connected, that's, that's great. Now click on max and approve bunny. Click approve. There's a 13 cents transaction fee. Click approve again. Okay, there you go. You've just staked your bunny token. Congrats. Now you're earning 194% interest APY. Now these interest rates do fluctuate, so keep that in mind. And you won't see your bunny tokens in your trust wallet anymore. It'll only be on the bunny pancake bunny website. Okay, so now I'm going to undo everything. <laughs> I'm going to unstake my tokens and I'm basically going to cash out. The reason I'm doing this is I want to make sure that you guys also know how to do it and that there's no questions. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to unstake and claim your rewards. So you just have to go back to Pancake Bunny, click on the pool. You can see that you deposited pool. You have uh, bunny tokens in there. Click withdraw. Scroll down, click exit, claim and withdraw. Click approve. And a couple of seconds, there you go. Now the, there's no more bunny tokens staked. So the bunny tokens will be back into your wallet. See, now we can see that it's over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert our bunny tokens back to BNB coin. We're gonna search up pancake swap. Click on the first link. We're gonna make sure we're connected to the Binance Smart Chain and then connect our wallet to the Trust Wallet. Click on the filter on the top left hand corner. Click on the menu on the top left hand corner. Click Trade, click Exchange. And then at the top, you wanna search Bunny Token. And you wanna, at the bottom, you wanna hit BNB Coin. I'm gonna go ahead and click max and then uh, wait a couple seconds, click swap, approve bunny. Approve is gonna cost eight cents. Now we're gonna click on swap, confirm bunny and close. There we go. Now in a couple of seconds, we'll have BNB in our wallet and absolutely no bunny tokens. This is how you sell your bunny tokens for BNB coin. Now we want to take our BNB coin 
and we want to send it over to Binance. So click on BNB, click on send. You need to enter the address here. So open up Binance wallet. Now click on the wallet at the bottom right hand corner, click on deposit, click on crypto, type in BNB. Now this is very important. At the top, you see three choices. You don't want BEP20, you want BSC. So click on the middle one and then copy the wallet address. Make sure you're using the right network. BSC, you wanna be using BSC. Now open up Trust Wallet, go to Smart Chain, and then click Send, enter the wallet address in. I'm just gonna enter, uh, send a little bit of money. Click Send. Now open up your Binance Wallet. You should have received the funds. You can just click on Convert. You'll be converting from BNB to BTC. Now, uh, for those of you who wish to use Binance Pro, I'm just gonna show you exactly how you can be using Binance Pro. So remember, make sure you go to the little guy on the top left-hand corner, click on Binance Pro. On this, uh, on the Pro version, it's a little bit different. Uh, your funds, if you click on the wallet icon at the bottom and under the spot, that's where you'll find BNB coin. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on trades. Now where it says BNB BTC, we wanna click on the two arrows beside it. We wanna type in BNB BTC. And that's how you search for the two pairs that you wanna buy and sell. Now you wanna click on BNB BTC. Now there's buy and sell. So click on sell. Click on where it says limit and choose market. Now I'm just gonna choose 100% and then I'm gonna sell BNB. So when I sell BNB, I'm making a trade and I'll be receiving BTC. And automatically you will have traded your BNB for BTC. Now, if you check your wallet, you'll have Bitcoin in your wallet. Now we wanna take this Bitcoin and put the Bitcoin into our Newton app. I'm gonna go to withdraw BTC and we need to enter the address, remember? So open up Newton app. Uh, click on the arrows at the bottom, click on with, uh, click on add funds, and then you'll see the Bitcoin wallet address there. Copy the wallet address, go back to Binance, paste the address in the bar, make sure the BTC network is selected. Uh, I'm gonna kick a certain amount of Bitcoin that I'm gonna transfer, and then you can submit your request in. Okay, now if you open up Newton app, we can see that we have received some Bitcoins. $69.34 in Bitcoin. Now click on the arrows at the bottom, click trade. Now you can swap between BTC and Can Canadian dollars. So I'm gonna do BTC to Canadian dollars, confirm and buy Canadian dollars and sell my BTC. And there we go. I just sold my BTC and bought Canadian dollars. Now I can withdraw my funds, review withdrawal for Canadian dollars. And I sent the request to my email address. And that's it. That was the full walkthrough from how you convert your Canadian dollars to Bitcoin and then convert Bitcoin to Binance coin and then convert Binance coin to whatever altcoin that you may want, either whether you want to buy it on the Binance app or on a decentralized exchange. Now you know how to do it. I hope that didn't feel like it was information overload. I know it was a lot to digest, but uh, the reason why I recorded that whole thing and then no, I, I wasted some money on transaction fees. So, so you, you guys can come back to this video. If you get confused, just replay it a couple of times and then you'll see exactly what to do. Just remember, make sure you're using the right network when you're transferring from one wallet to the next. Number two, make sure you have the correct wallet address. You don't wanna type it in, right? Just copy and paste. That way you have the exact one there and then you'd have nothing to worry about. I really hope that you guys found that very helpful. Uh, if you like this content, uh, then please uh, like and uh, maybe share the video with your friends so they can also buy uh, crypto coins. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like and uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any other kinds of content here. Take care. Thank you.